my name is Hannah. I'm back again with my dog making God knows what noises in the background chewing on her toys, but I have a different kind of video today. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Now I'm not someone who probably is generally going to be doing a lot of hauls on this channel. I find hauls fascinating because I've spent most of my adult working life as a bookseller, so I'm usually very interested in, like, beyond what books people are reading, I'm interested in what books people are buying and how they buy them and why they buy what they buy. So I find hauls interesting. I probably won't film a lot of them because I think my book buying is very boring. But this is different. Um... There was a locally owned uh, video rental place in Des Moines that was open from like the 80s until this year. Um, so they had a big going out of business sale, selling all their inventory. It's obviously very sad that a small business, as cool as this one, is leaving. But um, I made out like a bandit at the going out of business sale. This is going to be pretty rapid fire because I have quite a few here. I have one. I have maybe like 60 movies here. Um, so I'm not going to dwell on any of them for too long. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna go through these and do a little, do a casual little haul video. I don't have anything written down. I bought most of these across like two or three trips, um, in like January or February. So honestly, I haven't looked at this stack. They've just been sitting on my floor. All right, I hope these don't glare too bad. Also, I'm just going in alphabetical order because that's how I have them stacked because I need to add them to my shelf. This is Atonement, one of my favorite movies, a great book, a great film adaptation. I honestly am shocked that I didn't already own this. So, Bad Times at El Royale, fun. I really liked it. I don't really have too much to say about this one other than fun. Ballet Shoes, I I read the book nonstop as a kid. I've seen the movie, I think, once on, like, PBS when it first came out, so Lord knows. Next, I have The Whole Before Trilogy by Richard Linklater. I have Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight. I thought about getting the Criterion box set of these, but I just think there's something so funny about the three of them together on the shelf with, like, the super 90s packaging on through the like newer packaging. I adore these movies. Belco Experiment, again, it's just fun. It's not, it's good. John Gallagher Jr. is in it. Billy Elliot, so sweet. I love this movie. Uh, the Blue Angel, and I think the funniest thing about this thing um, is that it's very obviously part of like a box set that the place just sold all of the movies separately. <laughs> Boy Erased, a lot of people did not like this movie. I did, I don't know. Brooklyn, I love this movie as well. Um, I would joke that I did a reverse Brooklyn when I moved from a small town in the US to a large city in Ireland and worked in a shop where I didn't know anyone. But I recently rewatched this and it deeply holds up burn after reading. This movie's so funny. It's so good. Uh, Cabaret. This movie is perfect. Uh, Sally Bowles is the, like, King Lear of Halloween costumes for me. If that makes sense. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. This movie is perfect and hilarious. Uh, Captain Fantastic. Viggo Mortensen is great in this. This is one of the first things I remember seeing George Mackay in, and I'm very impressed by him. Uh, the Departed, this is another one that's like, how did I not already own this? I, it's great. Dope. I think about this movie all the time, and I find that it's one that I recommend to people a lot, and they've, a lot of people haven't heard of it, which is bizarre, because I love this. Uh, Drive, I, dialogue is overrated. <laughs> Dunkirk, another case of how do I not already own this? This is on Letterboxd, this is my most rewatched movie because I worked at a movie theater when it came out and I saw it seven times. <laughs> Edge of Seventeen, this movie gets so much shit right. I just love it. The favorite, um, a funny story, a family video nearby was going out of business and they have, they keep movies in kind of just like nondescript plastic, clear plastic sleeves. 
and I bought a movie called The Favorite, thinking I was buying The Favorite, um, but now I have The Favorite. Uh, Fighting With My Family. This movie was really good. It's like better than you think a movie that co-stars The Rock as himself is gonna be, and I really liked it. Game Night, this is another movie that's like way better than it has any right to be. This movie's so funny. Glass Castle um, is like if Captain Fantastic were much darker. <laughs> and it's a true story. Ruthie has some loose teeth that she is working through, so if you hear like disgusting mouth smacking noises, that's that's what that is. The Good German, I have not seen this. I know it's Steven Soderbergh, and it's like a World War II drama, and it's kind of designed to look like World War II era dramas. Um, and I've seen the joke about this, is that it's like, what if the characters from Casablanca could swear? And I think that's a funny premise, even if it's not a funny movie. Grapes of Wrath, this is like another gold standard of book to film adaptations. This is so good. Hell or High Water, a canon of movies that both me and my dad like, which is a small Venn diagram overlap, but an important one. In the Fade, I have not seen this. I know it's German and Diane Kruger's in it, and I think it's so funny that the video rental place says this is a German film and plays in both German and English. So I think I'm leaving that sticky note on there forever. This is In the Loop. I love Veep and Death of Stalin. I'm, I do consider myself an Armando Iannucci fan. Um, I saw this once, like, in high school. I definitely need to rewatch it because I imagine it's still brilliant. The Innocents. Oh my god. This is a French movie about a group of French nuns in World War II, and it's like one of those, like, women movies. <laughs> um, Killing of a Sacred Deer. This movie made me lose sleep. Barry Keoghan is so good. Kingsman the Secret Service. Maybe one of the most fun movies ever, and it has just an absolute dog shit sequel. <laughs> Um, Land of Mine, I believe this is a Danish-made movie about uh, the aftermath of World War II and German soldiers are defusing bombs in uh, on the beaches of Denmark in like almost every scene, so it is very dense because they're literally defusing a bomb at all times. Um, the last five years, I don't think this movie is good, but I can't remember for sure. <laughs> So I bought it just to double check. Love, Simon. Another one that I'm like, is this good or do I just love Jennifer Garner? I don't know. Loving. I think it is a complete crime that this movie did not get more like award season attention than it did just because there's no like tearful, unrealistic monologues. It's too good. Uh, Justin Kurzel's Macbeth. Uh, this movie is crazy. I love it. <laughs> I love Macbeth. And Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. Do not need to explain myself. They're perfect. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. A cut above the typical, like, teen drama tragedy. It's, oh god, this movie's so good. This is a, an adaptation of Les Mis from 1978. I have never seen it. I don't think I recognize the actors' names. This could be horseshit, I don't know, but medically I have to get every Les Mis that I see, so. Speaking of medically getting every Les Mis that I see, this is the 10th anniversary Dreamcast edition. Uh, I usually, when I watch this, I have to watch it on YouTube because these DVDs are crazy expensive on eBay, but this was like $4, so thanks, going on a business sale. Uh, Moonlight, another how do I not own this. I love this movie. Moonrise Kingdom, this is my favorite uh, Wes Anderson movie. I love these kiddos. They make me sad. Never Let Me Go, I think about this movie every three to five business days. I Oh my god, it's so good. Oh god. The Nice Guys, I love this movie. This movie is hilarious. I recommend it frequently. I wish there was a sequel, but in a way it's pure and better for not having one. Uh, Papillon, I know the story. I've seen the remake with Charlie Hunnam and Rami Malek, and I liked it, but 
but I feel like I need to actually watch this. Place Beyond the Pines, this is another one that I thought about frequently after watching. It's so good. Oh, Pride. This is uh, one that I've only seen, I think just once. And it's just like so joyful. It has such a good cast. Ugh. Uh, Rebecca, my intention is to eventually read the book and then watch this and then watch the new Netflix movie that I heard is completely vibeless, but this, this looks very vibeful. Uh, The Writer, this is one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen with just the stupidest DVD art. And I just read the blurbs, a truly human story of cowboy perseverance, which isn't incorrect. <laughs> uh, the Salesman, this movie also made me lose sleep and it's so dark, but it's so good. Excellent tension. Uh, Sicario, love Denis Villeneuve. He's never had a bad movie. And this is another great action flick with an absolutely horseshit sequel. <laughs> uh, Son of Saul, this is a, I believe it's Hungarian or Polish. Hungarian member of the Sonderkommando. Um, he's looking for his son in Auschwitz Beer Canal. It's gut wrenching. It is literally one of the most devastating movies I've ever seen. And it's so well made. Oh my god. Spotlight. I have no memory of buying this. I like this movie. Um, journalism students love this movie. <laughs> Uh, this is Spinal Tap. This is another one that's like, how do I not own this? And at the time that I bought it, it was not on any of my streaming services that I have. So I was like, this needs to be remedied. I, I watched this in a film class in college. I love it. Um, Tulip Fever. Five people saw this movie. No one liked it but me. It looks great and tells a really dull story. <laughs> but beautiful costuming. <laughs> what we do in the shadows. Love this one. This movie's been talked about a lot. I love the TV show adaptation. I really want to watch Wellington Paranormal. It's uh, just so funny. Oh my god. And my last one here. Finally, I have Whip It. Uh, directed by Drew Barrymore. Roller Derby. This movie's so good. It has a great, great soundtrack. All right, and that was my last movie. Um, I'm probably not gonna do movie videos frequently unless I'm doing like book to movie content, which is something I'm very interested in doing. I'm also probably never gonna do a haul, certainly not of this size. This is kind of a special occasion. But yeah, I'm very sad that Video Warehouse is going out of business. It's such a special place. My parents went there when they were like first married and I think they didn't change a single thing about the interior of that building in like 35 years. So yeah, that's really sad that a place that that's, that's so special and cool and was locally owned is not going to be around anymore. Um, because they had a great selection. They had some deep cuts, classic films, a lot of movies that just aren't on streaming anywhere. Yeah, I have enriched my movie collection and these have been sitting on the floor in my living room for like two or three months. So now I get to put them away. Um, I'll be back in probably a couple weeks to do an April reading wrap up. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Say bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay, this is from the next morning when I put them all away on my spinny movie shelf. Um, I'm running out of room on it, so they probably still need situating, but I thought it'd be fun to take a little time lapse, so I did. Okay, bye.